What? Let, let you hold something. Yo, I told you I ain't got no money, man. Is you crazy? What? Now is not the time. Fuck you, stupid motherfucker. Shit! It's gonna kill you, man. Fuck, Travis, what you doing? Decides to show up. Bad man, I didn't mean to do that. Your pockets look a little flat, Trav. Yeah, it wasn't my fault. All right, it pulled me over on the turnpike. What was you doing to get pulled over with my money in the car? Yeah, I swear, man, nothing. It was a checkpoint or something. They asked if they could search the car. I said, yeah. I didn't even see dude take the bag with the money. Us. I don't want to hear that shit, Trav. That's between you and the state troopers. All I want is my money. Man, I ain't got that kind of bread, man. Well, I suggest you find a bakery. <laughs> All right, well, it's, it's at least going to take me a couple of weeks, man, before I can get that uh -oh. together. A couple of weeks? You got a couple of days. So I suggest you get out there and start hustling up my money. All right, man. And hurry up. Travis, the next time I see you, please have my money. Or it's gonna be all bad. It's business, not personal. He's better than MJ was at that age. I'm sorry. <laughs> man, you tripping. LeBron James better than both of them at that age. Yeah, LeBron's better than all of them. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I'm a Lakers fan to the day I die. I don't care. Dirk's better than all of them. Yeah, and ain't neither one of them jokers paying no bills around this joint. So let's be ball and more fade, all right? Yeah, you all right back there, man? Oh, <laughs> Melissa must have you on the rations again, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ask her yourself, funny man. She in the back. Oh, uh, no, I'll pass. Thanks, Mr. Travis. Oh, my grandma told me to give you the money this time. And Jaden, your grandma knows her money ain't no good here. Put that in your pocket. Can I still get a lollipop? Yeah, of course, little homie. You just make sure your grandma gets her money back this time, all right? All right. That, that, all of it. OK. Give me some. All right. Next. The people! Ah, what else you got? Ha ha ha. Hey, Ski, I wasn't expecting to see you till tomorrow. Yeah, but me and my boy had to coordinate a little something for the festivities, if you know what I mean. Mm, well, let me get out of here then. I don't want to mess up y'all coordinating. <laughs> How are we looking, baby? I'm looking good, huh? Um, I'm going to go to the bank, go pay these bills, and go home and get dinner started. Cool. Cool. Y'all be back. I'm going to walk me out to a car. No, babe, I'll be fine. You and Ski work on y'all coordinating. I don't want no excuses tomorrow. You sure? Bye, Ski. Bye, ma'am. All right, man. Let me hit. Yeah. 
I done been out on the streets all day. I done called every mark I got, and we still short. How short? Short. Hey, what is you doing here, eh? I didn't know I needed an invitation to come check out my little brother. It's really not a good time right now. What, what, what you need? I need to talk to you. Later, Ab. Now's not the time. It's just you and Ski? Not now, Ab. Later. Later. <laughs> All right. Let's see how you do me, man. Peace, my brothers. Peace. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. And another thing, I know you're trying to do the whole change, man. And all. Come on, man. You know I don't allow guns in the shop, man. Get yeah. That, you got to get that out of here. Yeah, but Bear is not playing by his money. And them definitely for dishonor, boys, you know how they get that. You running around town with all this paper in your pocket, you're going to need a little security. So if you don't want it in the shop, take it outside and put it in your truck. It's just getting out of control, man. Definitely. How am I gonna get Bear's money? I've been thinking, man, I might got an idea. I hope it's a good one. One with a lot of money. Let's get this paper, man. Let's get this money, nigga. Let's get this paper, man. Let's get this money, nigga. Let's get this paper, man. Let's get this money, nigga. Let's get this paper, man. Yeah, I know the streets like the back of my hand. They keep the numbers on they then keys to the grants. My name ring in the streets, you know who I am. And keep it so sweet, they call me candy, man. I'm on the block all day, going hand to hand. Just stacking grants with me and my main man. You know the script, man. stick to the plan. You don't know a damn thing, it just hits the fan. Cause I ain't trying to run from the boys in blue. So I keep it clean and I don't leave a clue. See, I'm OG. Ain't nothing new, so I'ma make it do what it do, baby. I'm in the streets, say, now you get this paper right. Nigga, hustle and fight, you get this paper right. I'm in the on and all face, get this paper right. I'm in the streets, running game, you get this paper right. Let's get it on tonight. Let's get it all, get it pop tonight. Let's get it pop, get it cracked tonight. Let's get it cracked, get it cracked tonight. Get it cracked tonight. Get it cracked tonight. Get it cracked tonight. Get it you can make it happen in America. <laughs> what I want to do is I want to get back to the hood, man. I mean, Oprah and Jay-Z, they international people. That's why they give away to Africa. But see me, I'm local. I want to do something that you can see the change on the streets every day. That's why I got what they call the Give a Grill Foundation for people with missing teeth. <laughs> you can understand this, huh? Cause you ain't got no teeth. I mean, you can't go to no job interview. Definitely ain't gonna get no loving. <laughs> you got low self-esteem. So that's why we got a saying to make y'all feel better. It go, just cause you toothless, don't mean you useless. <laughs> Maybe you really may disagree, right? Anything for you, baby. Mm. Give me some love, bird. Mm. So. I see everybody's having a good time. Bottles on the table. Pretty ladies. Damn. Y'all balling. So I guess that means you got my money. Bad, can we talk about this outside? We ain't gotta go outside. I told you. The next time I saw you to have my money, right? Yo, bad. Yeah, but I... So it's the next time, right? Man, don't do this in front of his wife, man. <laughs> and that's only the beginning of what I'm going to do to you in front of your wife if you don't have my money by tomorrow. Like I said, what's your job here, boy? It's only business. He woke up, he's it's like, oh, <laughs> Look like that boy brought a pussy to a bear fight. You <laughs> <laughs> funny. Man, that was fucked up, man. Too damn <laughs> oh, my God. 
Ele diz que é o Trav, you alright, man? Travis, I don't believe you. You promised me that you would be done with that. Maybe you don't understand how it was. I mean, I am. Clearly you not if you owe him money. Mel, it's gonna be all right. We got a plan. We? What the hell you got to do with this shit, Ski? I know your ass not back hustling again, because if you are, I will leave your black ass for real this time. Ski had nothing to do with it, all right? Between the renovations at the shop and the stupid interest rate going up on the house, we've been strapped for cash. So I did a run for bed, got pulled over, and the crooked ass cops took the money. Now we on the hook for 50 stacks. $50,000? Did you go and run drugs from him, Travis? No, baby, no, it wasn't like that. I never saw drugs, I never moved any drugs. I got pulled over on my way back with the cash. And now what, huh? If you can't pay him tomorrow, then what happens? Where are we gonna get 50 grand from? Ma'am, it's not gonna come to that, we got a plan. Really? Cause Bear don't play. The cops can't even touch his ass. Baby, damn, can you just calm down? Don't tell me to calm down, Ski. Them DVD boys kill people. Okay, so right now, y'all need to tell me what you plan on doing to get us out of this mess. For real. Hello? Well, people tell me you need to perform in New York. Don't answer it, baby. Don't. Don't answer it. Don't. Baby, it has to be important because this time's I'm morning. Come on, gotta... Come on baby. The only thing that's important, baby, this time of morning is what we doing in this bed right now. So let it go to voicemail. Hey. Are you freaking kidding me, Malone? Malone? Oh, my God. Here we go again. Are you seeing this? Oh. All right. Bye. Okay. What do you want me to say? Don't say nothing. Just stay in the bed. Let's finish what we started. You know I would if I could. You can and you should. Look, I don't like my wife just leaving out of the house at all time in the night. This is crazy. Baby, you act like I'm going to the club. I gotta go to work. So just pardon the interruption, huh? Come on, Craig. You know I love you. Why are you being difficult? I'll be right back, I promise. It won't take long. Hey, don't be difficult, please. Yes, we have it completely under control, sir. Absolutely, I'll be in your office pronto, thank you. Nice of you to show up. Captain, we came as soon as we got the call. I've gotten three calls from the mayor's office already. With the election in less than a month away, everyone is all over this, so please do everything with excellence and by the book. Stuart. Garner, you were the first officer on the scene. Why don't you bring everyone up to speed? Now, a 911 dispatched us to the location at 12.26 a.m. A neighbor noticed the door cracked, peeked in, and saw a body on the floor. Uh, we entered the premises and noticed an adult black male, 25 to 30, on the floor. Close to him was a black female, 20 to 25. She was found on the sofa. Uh, we also recovered two more bodies in the basement, a black male and an Hispanic female, both in their mid-20s. In the first floor back bedroom, we recovered two children. One black female, 12 to 13, deceased. One black male, five to six, barely alive. EMS rushed him to University Hospital. Now the four adults were all killed by gunshot wounds, but the two children were bludgeoned with a bat, recovered on the scene later. That's all we have, Captain. Thank you, officer. The city has never seen anything like this, so there's gonna be pressure from the mayor's office as well as the community. 
Stevens? Yes. I want you heading up this investigation. At a boss. I want this scene fully processed. Don't miss anything. We need to close this case quickly. I don't want it hanging over my head. Yes, ma'am. So what are you doing standing around? Let's get to work. I just spoke to one of our officers at the hospital. Your grandson is still in surgery. I need to be there. We need to be there when he wakes up. Yeah, we understand that. We just need to ask you a few questions. Questions about what? I don't know anything. We don't know anything. Somebody goes into my son's house and kills our family. Now, I need to go. Mom, just relax, sweetie. Miss Jones. Can you think of anything, anything at all, that would help us know who would want to harm Nobody your... Nobody would want to harm my son and his family. Everybody loved Melissa and Travis. Look, officer, my mother ain't gonna be no good to nobody until she can check up on little TJ. Miss Calloway is outside waiting to take her to the hospital. I'll stay and talk to you. I'm gonna stay and, and talk to these officers. You go ahead to the hospital. Selena and Mika meet you there. I'll be there when I'm done. Why you need to stay here? We need to be together. Mama, I'll be fine. I'm just gonna talk to these officers and answer their questions and then I'm gonna be right behind you. We'll have officers take you to the hospital. We need an officer protecting us at all times. I want my family protected. I'll be right behind you, Mama. said he's still in surgery, but nothing else. Oh, Mama. Oh, Why did you have to hurt that baby? Oh, Mama. Oh, listen. I'm praying that Allah will bring you comfort in this difficult time, but you need to trust him. Come here, baby. <laughs> Go get some um, water or something. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, Mama. Come here, Mama. It's okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tell me it's not true. I went by the house, they had the whole block locked up. Miss Calloway told me you're here. Tamika, tell me it's not true. <laughs> they killed him, Tamika. Oh. They killed him. They killed Trav and him oh. and Bunky and Aisha oh. and Maya. Baby girl, too? Yeah. What the hell happened? They saying DVD did it. DVD? That don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. It's key. <laughs> Did Trav owe Bear any money? Yes. I mean, no. This don't make no sense. Hi, I'm, I'm Dr. Curry. <laughs> Doctor, please. Tell me my nephew's okay. Your nephew suffered several blows to his head. And? And it caused severe bleeding and swelling to his brain. Doctor, what does that mean? Were you able to save my grandson? We were able to stop the bleeding, and we think that we relieved the swelling. You think? 
Ma'am, please understand that this is a very <laughs> delicate injury. We must proceed with caution. So is he awake and we go see him? Fortunately, he's not awake. With brain injuries like his, sometimes it can take days or even weeks for a patient to regain consciousness. Weeks? The fact that he made it through this type of surgery defies all conventional logic. With the injuries he sustained, well, let's just say little Travis must have something to say because he's fighting harder than anyone that I've ever seen in the OR. I need to see him. I need you to take me to TJ right now. He's in the ICU. I'll take you to see him. All right, this is what we know so far. These two victims lived in the house. These two victims were visiting from out of town. Right, that's Travis and Melissa Jones. They were the first two victims killed in the basement. The cousins were killed next. There was uh, no visible sign of forced entry, so the victims obviously knew the assailant. Assailant? As in one? You mean you think one person came in and did all this? It's a theory so far for now, Captain, but we really don't. And it's really too soon to be sure, but it's looking that way. Okay, so one known assailant came in and killed five people. How does that happen? How did no one get away? Well, we're waiting on a ballistics report, but it looks like all of the victims were killed with one gun. And when he ran out of bullets, that's when the kids were bludgeoned. Any word yet on the kid that left in the bus? Yes, Captain. He just came out of surgery. He's in the ICU. We have a uniform at the door, ready to take a statement the second he regains consciousness. What kind of animal does this to kids? What about DBD? Any solid connection there? Well, according to statements collected at the scene, Travis actually did have a very public fight over money with a one Mr. Theodore Kelly last night. And we know how Mr. Bear feels about his money. All right, let's bring him in. Well, Captain, we want to get a statement from the brother from We don't have any time to waste, Stevens. I want Bear in here. On what grounds? You have witness statements linking him to the victims, don't you? Talk to the brother and see if he can corroborate any of that. But Bear... But Bear is a known criminal who the victim owed money to, which in my book is probable cause. Wake up a judge, get a warrant, and bring him in here now. I want his house and all of his business properties searched. Tonight. Tonight! Yes, Captain. Let's take police captains with their ass on the line for 500, Alex. I guess we need to go find Abdul and see if he can give us something we can use. Yeah. My wife just called. She said TJ made it through surgery. It's in our lives' hands now. Sir, we're all prayerful that your nephew makes a full recovery. We know you want to be with the family, so we'll make this quick. And Mr. Sadat, we have to establish a timeline. So when was the last time you spoke with your brother? Um, me and my wife attend service at the masjid on Baxter Terrace every, every Friday night. I called Trav to tell him I was going to come by after service to drop off some cash. And what time did this conversation take place? Um, I talked to Trav maybe, maybe around 7. Service ended like 10.30, but it was pouring out, so we fell asleep for a while and, you know, until it cleared up. I dropped Salima home. Then I headed to my brothers. But by the time I got to Trav, I was too late. Well, I think we have all we need for now, Mr. Sadat. Why don't you go to the hospital and be with your family? Look, my phone's been blowing up. With people talking about the fight between Bear and my brother. Now, y'all got to lock him up before he hurt somebody else in my family. The man's a killer, and he ain't gonna stop until he take us off. You understand that? Sir, your family will be protected. And we'll have uniformed officers escort all of you to a safe house tonight. You have my word on that. Okay. And just leave Bear to us. Focus on your family for now, okay? We'll be in touch. Thank you. So you know why we're here, right? 
Well, well, well. Detective Stevens. It's nice to see you, too. Cut the shit, Teddy. This is serious. It must be. You call me on my name in front of company. Where were you between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. last night? Let me ask you a question. I'm under arrest because 10 squad cars surrounding my house is a little extreme just for a convo. We have reason to believe you were involved in homicides at 16 Renner. So I'm under arrest and I'm free to go. You're being held on the grounds of probable cause. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Probable cause? Yes. As in a reasonable amount of suspicion, supported by circumstances sufficiently strong enough to justify a prudent and cautious person's belief that certain facts are probably true. Probable cause. Snake here. So don't tell me you're trying to study for the bar or something. Or something. <laughs> we got all night, wise ass. No, just wise enough to know not to talk to you two about any murders. And also wise enough to know that you can only hold me for 48 hours without charging me. A gentleman and a scholar. That will do you well in prison. Shit. How would you learn by now? Teflon, baby, come on now. Well, Mr. Teflon Don, you can sit there and be quiet all you like. Just let the streets tell me exactly what I need to know. And they are? Now is not the time to play dumb over half the town, so you have a very public altercation over an unpaid debt with that victim. You think I killed all these people because this person owed me money? I thought you knew me better than that, Mike. I know you to be a ruthless killer. I just haven't been able to prove it. All right. This meeting is over. Can I leave now? Oh, no. We still have 40 more plus hours of our little date. Well, if I'd have known that this was going to be a date, I would have brought some rubbers. They don't use them when you'll be gone. Not when you're getting your shit pushed in. My client has nothing more to say. And if you insist we wait this frivolous holdout, we can do it together. Don't worry, counselor. Your client hasn't said anything that will incriminate him. Looks like this is going to be a long night. I hope you don't mind if we play a friendly game of chess. You've got to be shitting me. You can play all the games you want, Teddy. We have all the time in the world. But if you didn't kill them, you damn sure know who did. If. Now that. That's the word I've been waiting for. In the spirit of cooperation, Mr. Kelly may have some information. Spit it out, Teddy. Well, since you're so busy listening to the streets, I just know where my money is. Oh, so the victim did, in fact, Owe you money. Like I said, the streets have been feeding you info. Actually, what my paper is. Because I know he didn't take it with him. Or should I be checking the pockets of your boys in blue? When was the last time you saw Travis? Jazzy's Thursday. How much did he owe you? He said he owed me money. Look, we have a boatload of people popping out of the woodwork telling us that you beat Mr. Jones to a bloody pulp all over an unpaid debt. You see, I'm a businessman. If anybody owes me money, why would I kill them? Dead men don't pay debts. So maybe you thought you'd never get your money? Oh, I always get my money. Okay, um, I, I, I'm getting a bit tired of this fishing expedition. My client leaves with me now, or you what? Or you what? Or 
I'm gonna call some reporters down here and tell them how you're wasting my client's time instead of investigating the real killers. I saw Keisha Vasquez in the parking lot and I know she's just itching for an exclusive. Johnny, can I see you outside? So now what? So now you build a case. Hey, there is somebody out here that I think you guys are really going to want to talk to. Who is it? Well, he claims to be Travis Jones's closest friend, and he says that Travis really didn't owe Bear the money everyone is talking about. So now, in addition to having the mayor breathing down my neck, I now have someone that might be able to exonerate my number one suspect and Fiona Edwards threatening to go to the press? The night's still young. Malone, I want you to get in there and let his lawyer know that you will be letting Bear go shortly. Stevens, get this new witness and you bring him in the room. I want to see the reaction when he and Bear come face to face. Move! First, let me offer my condolences to you on the loss of your friends. I'm sure it must be difficult. I can't believe it. They were such good people. Can you tell me how you knew Mr. Jones? Well, me, him, me, Ab, and Bear, we all went to Avon. And Trav and me were the same home in Shabazz. Okay. You look familiar. You went to Shabazz, didn't you? Oh, no. Central. With Bear? Um, so you were talking about how you've known Mr. Jones since grade school. Um, can you tell me about the events leading up to his death? Everybody trying to put this on Bear. But Trav had Bear's money. He was gonna pay him. And you know that because? Because I was there when he called Bear, telling him he was gonna pay him. How much money did he owe? 50 stacks. And how did Mr. Jones get that kind of money? See, that's why I gotta plead the fifth one now. Hey, it's detective. Now, how can you be so sure when Yo, you're there to collect the money? I just want you to catch whoever did this. Trav was my people, you dig? And he had Bear's money. Why? Because I seen it. And he was gonna pay Bear. I was there when he called Bear to tell him he had the money. Can I speak to you outside, Detective Malone? Thank you. Just doesn't add up. Bear says he didn't kill him because he owed him money. This guy says Travis had the money and told Bear as much. Adds up to me. Travis paid him the money, Bear killed him anyway. All we gotta do is prove it. I'm Keisha Vasquez coming to you live from the scene of yet another senseless crime. Five people were murdered and one clings to life. Neighbors have created this memorial for the victims whose age range from six to 28. Police haven't made any arrests yet, and an anonymous source has put up a $50,000 reward for information leading to the conviction in this case. Reporting to you live from WBLC-TV7, I'm Keisha Vasquez. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't mean to scare you. The police brought us here to keep us safe. How did you know? Mama, you know me all my life. You gotta know I didn't do this. That little boy I knew long ago is gone, Teddy. I think we both know that. Mama, what you doing up so early? I could ask you the same thing. But then I guess I already know the answer. He said he wants to talk. Talk.
my brother. Did I do? Come on, Mickey, you know me better than that. Why? You got him back out on the streets, didn't you? You had a fight with him at Jazzy's, didn't you? No. Your brother owes some balloon payments on the house. He came to me for some money, so I sent him to pick up some cash for me. So what about the fight at Jazzy's? He lost the money. He was late paying me back. There wasn't no fight. I hit him once just to make a point. And then what, you sent your goons after him to take care of the rest when he couldn't pay you back? You know they almost took out my entire family? That could have been me and Ryan in that house. I'm sorry about your family, Meek. I swear to God I am. Look, you know I wouldn't do this shit. It ain't my style. And I never let anything happen to you and my son. No, that's my son. That's my son. Come on, Meek. Don't Meek me. My brother is dead. My cousins are dead. My niece is dead. My nephew is in the hospital holding on for his life. Well, you got to stand here in a safe house. Meek, I'm this sorry. Is all I am sorry. Travis was my friend, and I swear to God, I'd never let anything happen to you or your family. You know me, me. Hey, look at me. You know I did not do this. I'm gonna find out who did it. For me. Go back in the house. Go through Lyons Avenue and get them niggas straight. Tell Stats I'll be there in one hour. Fuck! Where's Jazz? Nah, I don't know. I mean, he called, I I, he said he'd be in like five minutes. So what the hell happened out there? <sighs> it was crazy. What happened? Uh, you, you talking about Trav and Yeah, Trav and them. Man, somebody killed him and everybody in the house. I, I, I mean, who do some shit like that? Look, I, I, I'm moving. You know I mean, this neighbor was falling shit. apart. Crazy. Get Jazz on the phone. My phone is on the charger. What? You think this is funny, nigga? No, nah, man, it's on the charger. Get Jazz here right now. Oh. I'm calling, I'm calling. Get him here right now. Yo, nah. Bill, what up? You're fucking up, nigga. What happened out there? I, I don't know. I you don't know? Huh? I sent you to the nigga's house to watch him and make sure don't nothing funny happen with my money. I know, we, we were there. But what happened? Look, we saw Trav go in the house a little after nine, but we did. What happened, Jazz? I mean, we, I, I, okay, I left. I sent you three assholes to guard my money and you left? My money is gone, Jazz. Five people are dead, and you know the best part of the fucked up story is? Everyone thinks I did it. I'm gonna need you to think real hard for me. What happened at that jazz? And I swear, you better tell me every fucking detail. I'm telling you, it was all good when we got there. We, I saw Trav walk in that house around 9.30. I mean, you remember it was raining hard last night. No, I mean like real hard. Let's try. Yep. Yo, that's probably that money in that bag, too. Yep. Nigga, get off the phone. Yo, I'm gonna hit you right back. All right. I thought Trav was out the game. Nigga, mind your business. You ain't getting paid to think. Yeah. Why are we out here in a freaking hurricane anyway? Cause, nigga, Trav got Bear's money. Jazz told us to watch the house and watch him. And that's all. That's all. So I'm supposed to sit in this car all night in the rain. I can't see three feet in front of me. Yeah. I, I, how we watching the house? Nigga, we ain't. Look, I got shit to do. I'm about to call Jazz, and he can sit out here all night if he wants. <laughs> OK, go ahead. Yo, 
Yo, what up? Yo, Jack. What, what nigga? Nigga, tell him. We really gonna sit out here in the, in the rain all night? I can't see past the hood of the car. But you got some place to be? Nah, it's just bad out here. <laughs> Yo. Tell him we just seen Noah's Ark float by. <laughs> Yo, what'd he say? <laughs> this is nothing. Just <laughs> see being dumb. <laughs> all right, man, it is getting a little worse out here. I'm gonna stay a little longer. Y'all going to bounce. Word. Good luck. All right. I'm gonna hit you in the morning. You heard what he's saying. Let's bounce. Nigga, how I'm hearing you was on the phone. But let's bounce. <laughs> So you calling the shots now? I'm telling you to stay. You telling niggas to go? So are we having a power struggle? Nah, man. Like, it was really bad last night. Like, it was thunder and lightning. So let me get this right. My money is gone over some thunder and lightning? Nah, man. It wasn't even like that, man. So what was it like, Zeke? Tell me, what was it like? Well, what had happened was... Well, I told you we should have stayed. Nigga, you the damn liar. You ain't told me shit. Man, what you sitting in the car on the phone with your do-rag, making love, texting hey, everybody, man, you bro, know? Bro, you bro, ain't paying attention to no making love. Man, yo, man, yo, man, yo, man, yo man, shut man. the fuck up. Sounds stupid. Yo, man, look. I fucked up. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Yeah. You better. Because it seems like you was the last person seen Trav alive. I know, but... I that feel... means you was the last person to see my money. And because of your little audible, the police are all over my shit. My money is gone. Now, I'm the police prime suspect. But you three motherfuckers are my prime suspect. So yeah, yeah, you would want to get to the bottom of it before I do. And if I find out that any of you motherfuckers have anything to do with this shit, oh, man, I'm on it. Well, get on it. Good afternoon, Detective. Good afternoon, Mrs. Sadat. Please call me Salima. Okay, Salima. Um, I'm sorry to disturb you, but I did want to speak with you and the rest of the family. Yeah, well, Abdul, my jails, and Tamika are at Wiggum's. Beautiful arrangements. Yes, but somebody needs to be here with TJ. Have the doctors given you any information on his condition? I don't look to the doctors for anything, Detective. Allah's in control, and he will make things right. Um, the day of the murders, you and your husband went to the masjid on Baxter Terrace. On your way home, did you notice anything after the I never order? missed Friday, June, detective. And aside from too much rain, I didn't notice anything unusual or out of the ordinary. No. Understood. Hey, detective. Any news? We're still investigating. We have a team combing the block for new evidence right now. Why y'all let Bear go? I'm really sorry, Mr. Sadat, um, but I can't comment on that. You can't comment? The man that murdered my brother is free on the street and you can't comment? He stopped by the so-called safe house this morning. You can't comment. He did what? Some bullshit. Y'all can't stop him. That nigga need to be locked up under the jail. Junior, this is a hospital. Why don't you calm down? How long are you gonna protect him, Meek? Huh? How long? You probably went told him where we was at. Shoot the butt. Enough. You don't stop talking to your sister like that.
Thank you so much, Ms. Calloway. Believe me, I understand this has not been easy on you. I love that family like they my own blood. I still can't believe it. Let me assure you, we're gonna do everything we can to solve this case and we're gonna bring those responsible to justice. Malone. Yeah. I think we might have something. There's a surveillance camera on that house over there. Hmm. That's the Growler's camera. Growler's, if they're not on my list. Uh, were they there last night? Oh no, they out of town. It's gonna kill Ginger. She used to babysit Travis when they lived in the project. Ms. Calloway, when do you think they might be back? Wednesday. Ma'am, do you know if the camera works? Child Leroy loves that camera. Somebody was stealing his newspapers and he took that camera and called Old Sorry Buster Collins. Hmm. About how long ago was that, ma'am? Maybe two months ago. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ms. Calloway. Really appreciate your time. I want a black and white in front of that house around the clock till that family gets back. We gotta get our hands on that camera and see if there's anything we can use. Roger that. I'm on it. Gotcha. Yo, Suarez. Good work. Thanks, Malone. Yo, my SJ, hit me back. I think we may have something. My damn nerves. Well, if the safe house is compromised, then yes, he has every reason to be concerned. Oh, come on, detective. Do you really think that bear is a threat to my family? N Abdul is just making it trying to seem like I'm, I'm stupid, like I'm still just hung up on bear. But if he didn't do it, he didn't do it, right? Do you think bear is a threat to your family? I don't think he would do this to me. I don't. Do you? Look, just like I told your brother, I cannot discuss the details of this case, but... I mean, but look, if, if you thought that he was guilty, you would have arrested him. But he walking around free, so obviously he's not a suspect, right? What did he say to you when he came today? He said he didn't do it. And that he was gonna prove it. Do you believe him? Yeah. Yeah, but according to Ab, that's my problem. That I've been believing Bear since I was 14. I hate to bring this up, um, but I saw your son and I noticed that he- Yes. Yes. I was, <laughs> I was in love with Mason Bear when I was a kid. Him and Travis were best friends and he knew I had a crush on him. And he was older, and he had a bath for me, so we were wide open for each other. <laughs> Young love. Mm -hmm. I remember it well. <laughs> so in the 10th grade, <clears throat> when I got pregnant, my mother and father, they sent me down south to live with Aisha and Pookie. And they never told Travis and Abdul that I was pregnant. Well, what about Bear? Bear. <laughs> I never told him anything. Nope. I just packed up one weekend and moved away and never came back. So he's Ryan's father. Okay. Besides Travis and God. You are the only other person I've ever admitted this to. No one? And I met a nice country boy, and he was cute, and he was real good to me. He knew I was pregnant, and when Ryan was born, he gave him his last name. What happened when you saw Bear again? Well, they suspected, but he couldn't be sure. But he's been real good to me since we've been back. Probably because he always felt so guilty. Guilty? Yeah. When I moved away, he started seeing some cheerleader girl at Central. <laughs> and he just forgot all about me. <laughs> Meet the cheerleader girl from Central High School. Me. Yeah. What? No way. Yeah. You stole my man, detective? Uh no, that is not it. If it makes you feel any better at all, you know, we went to the prom, yes, but a few months later I went off to college and he forgot about me too. Yep. While he took me to the prom, he definitely kept you in his heart.
That's why I don't think he did this. I mean, he might not be the same boy that I fell in love with, but he has the same heart. Right? I hope so. I really hope so. Hurry that up. Yeah, thanks so much. Oh, bye. Tell me something good. <laughs> Two for one day is super smooth. That's what's good. Got your little orange delight there. It's a little melted, but uh, I think you'll like it. It's perfect. Exactly what I needed. Okay. So, what's up? Well, <laughs> keeps pointing back to our favorite neighborhood gangster bear. I have a sense that some know more than others, but it's like that whole DBD gang has a real stronghold in that entire community. It's like they're just flat out scared. Okay, you can't blame them alone. I mean, if they killed an entire family next door to my house, I'd be a little tight-lipped myself. No, but wait, there's more. Ooh, more spin it. The house a couple doors down has a surveillance camera points right towards the street. Did you watch it? What did you say? Uh, the family's out, won't be back to Wednesday. They're out of the country on vacation. You're kidding. Okay. Well then, tell me how we're gonna get in there before then. Well, I've called the owner, but it goes straight to voicemail. But I did manage to get the make and model of that camera. It's motion sensitive, downloads straight to a hard drive somewhere inside that house. So if the killer comes out and makes a left, we should see something. That's something. Wednesday, huh? Wednesday. What, is, what is wrong with your neck? So, we let Mr. Bear go. Where's my next suspect, detective? Okay. I guess your silence means you don't have anybody. You don't have anybody even sitting around here drinking smoothies. I don't think that the killer's in here, so bye bye Go find me a killer. Hey, I'm not playing. Go beat the streets, knock on doors. Go detect, detectives. Yeah, right, Captain. She is tripping. I'm not tripping, and what are you still doing in the building? You don't want lucky man with 50 G's in his pocket, Jazz. Damn, bear. Damn, bear. Damn, bear. I'm down 50 stacks because your sorry ass is scared of a little rain and all you can see is damn bear. Look, I just came from Tramp Block. All right, I'm over there. I'm asking questions. I'm trying to see if anybody know anything. At the same time, I'm checking to see if anybody acting suspicious like they just came into some cash. And? And the only thing they talking about over there is when you hit trap. Ain't this some shit? The only thing you can come back and tell me is that the hood's still pointing the finger at me. Look, man, I swear to God, I'm on it. You own it. What the fuck does that mean? Look, I even talked to our snitch at the station. The cops ain't got shit. So what, that's supposed to make me feel better? Claim they wait on the kid to wake up so he can finger somebody. You know what, I'm gonna get at that nigga Ski. Ski? Yeah, yeah, he gotta know something. He never really had the balls to be a killer, but... Nah, 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 I done seen the craziest shit. I'm on that. You tell them two misfits you got called soldiers. I got a job for them. What you need, boss? A strawberry cheesecake from JR's. All right, I tell them to get on it. Oh, and since the weather gonna be nice, and they scared of rain, you tell them to walk their sorry asses up there and get it. All right, man. No way she's waiting to Wednesday. No way. If we don't come up with a suspect quick, we might be back out on the beat for real. Well, that might not be such a bad thing. What's that? The great detective folding up under the pressure? <laughs> Hardly. Come on. One place to life. Neighbors have created this memorial for the victims whose age range from 6 to 28. Police haven't made any arrests yet, and anonymous sources put up a $50,000 reward for information about the convictions in this case. Any dogs from the hospital give you anything? 
Nope, but as soon as he wakes up, we have an officer on standby. Hmm. What about leads from the family? Aside from what we already know, Bear is not a slam dunk. They said that. The sister did, the brother didn't. I mean, the brother is convinced that he did it. The sister's hoping he didn't. Hoping? Gut feeling. And you know, I kind of think she might be right. I mean, something is just not adding up. Adding up. Listen, <laughs> math was never my strong suit. Mm -hmm. And I'm not ready to rule out Mr. Bear just yet, all right? Now, I'm not saying he pulled the trigger, but he did run DBD. DBD's whoa, been known whoa, whoa. to do some foul. Whoa, whoa. What's going on over there? Yo, man, what's all this about? No, no, I'm asking the question. First question, where's the money? Money? What money? Don't fucking play dumb with me, Ski. All right, where's the 50 stacks? The barbershop's open. I guess one monkey don't stop no show. Isn't that? I swear to God, when I left, Trav was down there counting that money. Yeah, yeah, let you tell it. Right now, you looking like the last person to see Trav and that money. All right, now you up in this man's shop. You running shit now? Man, fuck you, Jazz. Trav was like my brother. I didn't kill him, and I damn sure ain't steal that money. That's Ski. Oh, That's Travis' boy. best friend. He's the one that told us that Travis actually raised the money for Bear. Well, who's that he's talking to? He looks real familiar. Actually, he does. And come to think of it, what's to say you didn't take the money? Everybody know you be skimming off the top of Bear's paper, and you killed my boy and had to cover up your tracks. I had to cover my tracks. I had to cover my tracks? I could kill your ass right now. Huh? But you still wouldn't have the cash, would you? Okay, we have Miles J. Davis, AKA Jazz. Second in command to Mr. Theodore Kelly. Word on the street is he handles all of the dirty work so the boss can keep his hands clean. I knew he looked familiar. Gold star for Detective Stevens. Kenneth Colbert, AKA Ski. Closest friend to victim number one, Travis Jones, and the only person alive that even admits to seeing the money. He's clean, though. Just because he hasn't been caught doesn't mean he's clean. Amen. And what do these two have to discuss in an alley? Well, maybe they're all uh, together. I mean, two killers always made more sense to me. No, ballistics said there was only one gun. So? And no ligature marks or defensive wounds on any of the victims means nobody was restrained. So maybe they both weren't in the house. But no fourth century means that Ski could have walked right Killed in. Killed the family and walked out with the cash. Mm. And now Jazz is trying to figure out where his half of the money is. Suarez, I want eyes and ears all over that funeral. Got it, yeah. See, my guess is if we follow Jazz and Ski, one of them will lead us to the money and our killer. <laughs> he better detect, detective. <laughs> Come in. Hey, um, I saw the limo pull up. Are you ready? I don't think I'll ever be ready. <laughs> but um, as soon as I fix your tie, <laughs> we go downstairs. Come on. You know Uncle Trav taught me how to tie a tie. Oh, no wonder. He used to always have to fix his ties, too. He can never get it straight, either. Well, how come you could tie one better than him? No, because Daddy taught the boys how to tie a tie, but Mommy taught me how to fix them. Oh, dang, Ma. You do tie a good tie. You okay. ain't no oh, snap. Your mama is the bomb. <laughs> oh, I know. I definitely know. Don't worry, Mama. I got your back. I know. Did I miss anything at the cemetery? It was more sad than the funeral, if that's possible. You know, I can understand wanting to get it over with, but having to bury a mother, father, and daughter on the same day is not an experience I care to have anymore. I can't believe Salima put all of this together. Bless your heart. My brothers and sisters at the mosque um, wanted to support us. Mm -hmm even though Trav and Militia wasn't Muslim. That was very nice. I 
know this motherfucker did. Junior. I just wanted to say I thought it was a bit of a service. Teddy, you gotta be fucking kidding me, right? Junior, not now. Abdul, I just came to offer my condolences to your entire family. I offer your condolences after you murdered my brother and his family. Why don't y'all just leave? Why just, just leave. Just stop. Would you just stop? Still defending his sorry ass. Maybe when you put a bullet in my head, you know what's up, Meek. Like I said, bruh, I just came to express my condolences to... <clears throat> my Jones, I have forgotten what we talked about. I got you. I know you do. What day is it? The trustee dinner every first Monday of right, the month. Right, I'm so right. sorry. Right. Why didn't you call and remind me? Oh, so it's now it's my fault. Mm -hmm. You know, all, all other spouses seem to remember. My boss's wife, she remembered. The mayor and his wife, they remembered. Baby, I said I'm sorry. And for the record, I did try to call you. I left several messages on your desk today. I tried you on your cell phone, but it's going straight to voicemail. You know, I started to worry, but then I uh, turned on the TV and I see my wife at a funeral that I don't even know the people. Well, baby, you know I'm working this case. Well, Ma, I tell you what, you need to start working this marriage. What the fuck is this? Okay, I missed one little dinner, Craig, and you're gonna leave me? Really? That's so mature. What the fuck you mean? That's your bag. You packed it. <laughs> you serious right now? So you obviously forgot about the retreat this weekend. Yeah, the one where I'm winning the war for the highest selling branch in the region. I just thought that. Yeah, and you must have forgot that we both agreed to go up a little early to make a mini vacation out of it. You know I'm working this case. I know you don't expect me to leave. I'll tell you what, Ma. I'm going up Wednesday evening. Like you and I playing, yeah, we. And if you expect me to come back, that's totally up to you. Yes. What's wrong with your hands? They broke or something? You stop me, me. I'm just saying, why she gotta get up and make your plate like you her master or something? What's wrong with you? I expect something like that out of you, which is why your life turned out the way it did. What's that supposed to mean? And don't you dare disrespect me in front of my son. All right, you two, that's enough. Baby, I'm tired of chicken and corn. Can you um make me some spaghetti? Here, and you want her to make you some spaghetti? I thought I told you to mind your business. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I'm the man of this house. <laughs> you're gonna respect me. You might not respect yourself, but you're gonna respect me. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm talking to you. I know a nice brother down at the masjid straighten you right on out. Now y'all also llama fake asses and not trying to play me. You know, I don't know who the fuck you think you're talking to, but it ain't working with me. Tamika! I'm not gonna have that language. You know what they say, ma? <laughs> trashy girl, trashy mouth. Shouldn't that's enough out of you, too? You already lost your brother. Your cousins are gone. Somebody killed baby girl, and God only knows what's gonna happen to TJ. Y'all gotta stop tearing each other down. I'm not gonna have it. We are a family. You see what you're doing to our mother? That's you. Hmm? 
Maybe if you keep your mouth and your legs closed instead of running pee pee cluck cluck behind some murderer like some chicken, we wouldn't be having this conversation, would we? See, now I know you done lost your mind. What? You and Bear regular Bunny and Clyde now, hmm? Is that how it is? He started off and you come behind him and, and finish the job? Is that it? You know what? I'm so tired of you and all your bullshit. Got everybody around here running after you like you the second coming or something. You wearing that stinky, dirty, varsity-ass jacket like we still in high school. You only wrestled one match. What you know about it, huh? You was too busy getting knocked up down in the country. You know what? You a sorry-ass motherfucker. You really are. You really are. You always been a jealous, petty-ass bastard. Always. I'm the bastard. You know what? That's enough. Mama, That's don't enough. do this. Oh, no. Come here. Is That's enough. enough. This is my husband. No. Haven't we lost enough already? I'm not going to stand here and let my children kill each other. I raised you all to love each other, not kill each other. You know what, Salima? Why don't you add some of that ham that the good Baptist people brought over last night? Add it to his sauce. I saw your sorry ass husband stuff in his face with it last night. Liar. Thomas, oh, you guys? Great, please let her in. Hi, Ms. Thomas, please have a seat. Thank you. We've queued up some footage here. You pay attention to the monitor on your right. Now, we've narrowed down the footage to the last half an hour where we think the murders were committed. Do any of these cars look familiar to you? No. 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 Mm -hmm. All right, um, Malone, show her the guy. What guy? If you pay attention to the monitor on the left, there's actually a man that walks towards the direction of the house. We can't see his face, but... Hold up. Yeah, go back, go back. What? Stop, right there. You recognize that person? Like Malcolm X, why are you at that window again? I mean, I'm just trying to make sure that everything is all right. I mean, uh, you said we couldn't just rely on the police to protect us. We're the men of the family. Right, Uncle Ab? Right, but I don't want you standing guard all day. Plus, I think we're pretty safe. It's a patrol car out front. Nobody really knows we're here. Well, except for- That guy Bear. Why was he here the other night? I mean, everybody says that he's the one. The one that did it. They don't have enough evidence on him yet. And this Bear guy, he should- He's an old friend. Don't you even worry about him. If I see him creeping around here again, I got something real nice upstairs under my bed for his ass. Hello? Good morning. Is Mrs. Jones available? Nah, she's sleeping. This is her son. Can I help you? Dr. Curry wanted me to let the family know that TJ did open his eyes a little while ago. Well, he's been in and out of consciousness, but the doctor said that this is a good sign. He may be fully awake in just a few hours. Okay, I'll, um, I'll tell my family. Thanks. What? Uncle Lad. Oh, TJ's, um, he's waking up now. <laughs> I, I knew he would. I knew it. I knew he would. Look, I'm going to the hospital, right? 
I'll be back. Look, I want to go. No. I need you to stay protect the house, all right? Okay. Remember, you're the man in the house now. Ryan, hey, uh, honey, who's at the house with you? It's just me and Grandma. What's wrong? Where's Uncle Ab? Well, after the hospital called and say TJ was waking up, he ran out to be with him. The hospital called? How long ago? About 10 minutes. Ma, what's wrong? You're scaring me. Okay, Ryan, listen, baby, nothing's wrong. Just lock the doors and put the chain on. And do not open that door for anyone. Do you hear me? I don't care who it is. Do not open the door. And I'll call you back when I can, okay, baby? I gotta go. Bye. Okay. Brother-in-law, I didn't know you were coming by. Damn. Uh, yeah, I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd give y'all a shout. Hey, hey. What's up, family? <laughs> Where you at? What, 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 what? Oh. Enough of that. Oh, Ain't nobody come over here to play with y'all. Oh. To bed. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna give you something to all man about. Uh oh. Get upstairs. That's right. Bye, mama. Get this tapping. <laughs> no PlayStation either. Hey, man. I was hoping we'd see you before we hit the road. Yeah, cause where is someone you know? Ah, she had the Friday night service. Mm -hmm. I thought y'all left yesterday. No, we were gone week today, but with all that rain out there, we changed our minds. We're leaving in the morning now. I hear that. They are. Uh, where Trav at? You know where he is, downstairs in the man cave. All right, well. Mm -hmm. All right, man, I'm gonna check you before you leave. Yes, sir. Calling y'all, bitch. How come you ain't hitting me back? So I've been busy. I ain't got time for it right now, bro. I got a lot of shit going on. Hey, you mean you ain't got time for me? You that big time now? Here we go. I know you've been calling me about money, man. I ain't got it. All right? Come in by the barber shop. I knew that's what you was asking for again. Seem like the only time you're checking for me is when you want something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When I want something. Six, six, eight, ten. All I've done for you, little bro, and this how you do me? Look, I just need like 300 to catch the rent this month. You can't stretch me that to Wednesday. I ain't got it. You ain't got it. Shit, every time I see you, there's stacks of cash everywhere. And I can't hold 300 till Wednesday. Mind your business, Ab. I mean, shit, you gotta have at least, what, 40 stacked in this bag, right? Yo, yo, don't, don't, don't do that, man. Don't, don't touch your bag. Look at this, you got all this Yo, I ain't fucking around. playing with you, man. Nigga, niggas, you crazy to put your hands on me? And don't you ever fuck <laughs> The fuck out of my house! The fuck is wrong with you? What you gonna shoot me now? Well, shoot me then, motherfucker! Nigga, put the gun down, get the fuck out! No broke ass jailhouse Muslim! What you do now? What's going on in here? Ah! Ah, was that thunder?
are you doing? Get out of here. Oh. This ain't got nothing to do with it's you. It's got everything to do with me. You know what I knew when that detective asked about Friday June that you were mixed up in this somehow? It's not you... what you think. What is it? I never meant for any of this to happen. What? It's too late now, baby. No. It's too late. No, it's never too late. I'm too late. I'm not going to stand by and watch you hurt this baby. Get out of the way. Get out of listen, my way. Listen, no. What? You going to kill me too? You, my husband. I stood by you. And I prayed that the Lord would make this right. And now that he made it right, you got to end this the right way, Abdul. The right way? The right way? Yes. Look at me. There's only one way to end this, Salima. I'm sorry, Salima. No. I'm sorry, baby. No. I'm sorry. No. No. Look, I ask you to I leave. Said, I ask you. Why do you no. just leave? Why do you just leave when I Step ask you? Step away from the bed, Mr. Sadat. Don't make me ask you again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe these clowns went all the way over there for some oh, JR's cheesecake. Yeah, they did. This is not MTV. <laughs> Ooh. You know what, man? To tell you the truth, I forgot I told them to go get it. <laughs> I ain't surprised, man. <laughs> but Ooh. I'm glad they did, though, man, because Ma Jones, she loves it. Yeah. And her mom just drive there once a week to get your strawberry cheesecake. Right. Yeah. And hopefully, man, this is cheer up. Yeah. Yeah, because she needs it. Drop this off at the back porch so somebody can see it, all right? All right. I'll be right back. Yeah. But look, keep that picture, because I'm going to show it to him later on. <laughs> Whoa. What's up, little man? I heard somebody with that. You think so? You thought you could sneak in to finish the job and kill the rest of us? No, it's not, it's not like that. I, I just brought your grandmother some strawberry cheese. That liar! You came to kill us! Look, no, you know how much your grandma loves to y'all? Hey, look. So, you think you can wrap this up? Look. I still have time. I can catch Craig if I hurry. Go, go. Yes. I'll do all the paperwork. Enjoy your long week, girl. Yes, yes, yes. Good, Good job. You. Hey, bring me something back. Yeah, right. Gotcha. No kill, I know that much. Say something. Say something to let me know the child I raised is still in, inside somewhere. It was an accident, Mom. And I didn't mean for it to happen. We started fighting and I grabbed that gun, next thing I know everybody was dead. Next thing you knew, everybody was dead. No, you gotta do better. 
better than that. How could you do such a thing? I don't know. I don't know. You just stood there and said you did that. You watched this more green. You watched us. You watched us worry about teaching. Sometimes, I guess we just went too far. You guess you went too far. You killed five people. I could take it all back. I would. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry. I know you're sorry, babe. But a thousand sorrows can't put our family back together again after 